when Keaton has been out as long as he has, how do you get him game speed ready? I mean, you just got to give him reps and, and uh, hope we can play. And obviously, when he misses, when we've gone without throwing as long as he has, there's probably going to be a little rust on him, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, he'll be ready. And, he, like I said, he's, he's a good player. And I think that he did a good job while he was out of trying to get mental reps and stuff. But there's still no, um, you know, there's there's no way to, to get real reps without being out there, physically being out there. And so, um, like I said, him coming back and stuff, he has a little bit of rust at times, and you can see it. Uh, he may not be as, his arm might be not quite be as crisp as it was because he took some time off. But, um, you know, I do think it probably feels good because he gave it a little break. Um, but just everything combined, uh, like I said, we got, I don't know, what, four more days to get him right, and uh, I think he'll be ready. Beyond Notre Dame, did you have him studying anything over the last couple weeks? What's that? Beyond Notre Dame, did you have him studying anything in particular? Keaton? Yeah. No, nah, just trying to get healthy. They, uh, they're pretty strict with those head injuries these days, so they've limited on what I can do with him. But, um, you know, I think he's sharp, and I think that uh, he's done a good job trying to be mentally sharp and, and, and being doing as much as he can uh, off the field. You know what I mean? Obviously, they they uh, limit what he can do on the field, but off the field, I think he's done a good job trying to get ready. And, uh, you know, we try to play one game at a time, and so I think more than anything, he's trying to prepare for Notre Dame. And... Uh, like I said, I think he'll be ready. He's, he's only had one road start. What gives you confidence that it'll be different this time going on the road for him? I'm always confident in Keaton. You know, I like him. I think he's a heck of a player. And, uh, you know, I don't think that the moment was too big for him at BYU. I just think uh, they, you know, he, he threw a pick early and, and uh, kind of got in his own head. But, it, like I said, I don't think it was the atmosphere or the moment or anything like that. And that's what uh, I've been impressed with him about. You know, I think, like I said, I've been impressed with a lot of things about him. But, um, since the day he's been here, I don't ever think that it's been like too big of a moment for him or anything. You know what I mean? Like, never had the big eyes or kind of the deer in headlights look. He uh, he always carries himself with confidence and expects good things to happen. And even at BYU, after he threw the first one, his first interception, you know, I remember him getting on the headset and he still sounded extremely confident and being ready to play. Uh, like I said, I think the second one kind of probably rattled him a little bit and uh, we never got back in a groove. But yeah, I don't think it was the atmosphere or the moment. I just think, like I said, he had an off day, and as a quarterback, that happens sometimes, especially as a true freshman. You're going to have off days, and um, hopefully that was his one for the year, but we'll see. But uh, again, I expect him to play well, and I don't think the moment or the, or the stage will be too big of a moment for him. I know you weren't here last year where they did a lot of good things through the air against Notre Dame. Is there anything you can learn from that? Or? Obviously, we watched the tape, but um, just like we watch all I mean, Lots of tape, you know what I mean? Uh, obviously, we're a different team with the, with the different offense. Um, so the, their preparation or the game plan will probably be a little bit different. Uh, but they do did do a good job throwing the football on them. And so, um, you know, like I said, we try to watch it and learn from it. But we try to do that with, uh, you know, we take a handful of games and, and try to and try to include them all. But that is a game we looked at. Um, but I'm sure, that, like I said, uh, what, what they were preparing for last year and what they were preparing for this year is probably looks a little bit different. And so I would imagine the game plan will be a little different just to tailor towards what they think is going to be best against us. And, you know, like I said, we're going to have to, we're going to, have to go execute regardless of what they do. Um, so I don't know if it'll look the same or not. But, uh, like I said, they, they did do some good things last year. Not asking you to give anything away, but is Marquis Skip ready for a bigger role? Uh, you know, Marquis has done a good job on giving him the ball. And, He's done a good job since he's been here, you know. So, uh, or since I've been here, and so, like I said, we the thing about it is we just have we got three good backs that we believe in, you know what I mean? And and uh, the youngsters do some good things too. Uh, so, we we just got a lot of guys back there, and, and you can't give them all touches. And so, uh, I think we've done a good job getting him touches. And, and when he's got the ball, uh, he's done a pretty good job with it. So, uh, like I said, I don't think his role will be you know increased or decreased necessarily much of what it's been just because you know we got three guys that we feel really good about that we feel need to be in the game and so trying to do that um, sometimes it may look like oh he doesn't have enough of a role I think like I said he's preparing to play every down just like the other three are and, and whoever gets the touches gets the touches. Notre Dame secondary seemed like one of the strengths of that of their defense what did they do that make things difficult on a quarterback from what you've seen? You know, I think as a whole their defense is pretty good um, you know, and I think they do a good job getting pressure on the quarterback, and that helps out the secondary for sure. But, um, you know, the secondary does a good job too. And I think more than anything, they just know where they're supposed to be and they're there. You know what I mean? And, and um, I think that's that's important to any offense, defense, no matter what. If, if 
you have an identity and, and you do it well, then uh, you give yourself a chance to be successful. And really, I think that's what they do. They, like I said, they're, they're where they're supposed to be and uh, know their job and they do their job. And so if you do that, you got 11 guys that know where they're supposed to be, then you usually have some success. And so like I said, I think that's what they do. They play off each other well. Uh, the front and the back end, I think, play off each other well. Uh, so they, uh, like I said, they, they do a good job defensively. But like I said, since we've been here, I think we have a really talented offense that can move the ball against anyone when we play well. So we just got to play well and execute. Let's go one more. Any person? Any plans to go possibly for him to play at some point? I would like to get him touches, obviously, and, and uh, <laughs> when it goes kind of back to Marquise, is, is um, he's got a lot of guys that you need to get touches back there, but uh, he's got a special skill set. He, you know, obviously he's really fast, and, and uh, we got four games to play with him, so um, if if we don't need him for more than that, but definitely you got four to use him, so um, like I said, he does a good job preparing. I think he's a smart kid, knows what he's supposed to do, and so uh, if the time comes and we got to use him, whether it be in a special teams role or something for a game, then we'll then we'll use him on offense too. Um, but we just got to be smart about that again, and and do what's best for him as a player, and do what's best for his career. But uh, he's definitely a kid that, that, that has a special skill set that we would like to get touches at some point. I just don't know what what games those will be, you know. But uh, I'm excited about him. Uh, you know, the thing about Keenan coming in, obviously, you know, he's a fast kid. He runs track, and I mean, you can see that he's fast, and you can see that he's fast on the field. Um, but what he's done a great job of is, is he's a lot more physical than you would have thought. You know, he's a tough kid, and, and he's not scared to run physical. And on tape, you don't see that much, usually because he can just outrun everyone, so no one has to hit him, or he doesn't have to hit anyone, you know. But uh, since he's been here, uh, he's shown me a lot as far as he's a kid that's not scared. He's a very, you know, he's not scared to run physical. He's not scared to lower his shoulder and get between the tackles and get you tough yards. And so um, yeah, I've been really encouraged by what I've seen this fall with him. And hopefully that, like I said, we'll be able to use him at times and, and get him some games and get him some touches because uh, he does have a skill set that's different than most people just with sheer speed, you know. So so we're excited about him and, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to use him at some point this season. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, man.